Hi there, Jean Cregan with a guest video message. So great to be able to be with you again um, today. And I wanted to share a little story about a Jesuit priest by the name of Father Pedro Arupe. Some of you may be familiar with him, but he was the head, the superior general of the Society of Jesus in the 70s, and which would mean he was in charge of the entire religious order of Jesuits and the Jesuit priests internationally. And he came here to Boston to give um, a talk or an address at a Eucharistic Congress, so a very large uh, gathering of Catholics. And he was known for being quite an orator. And the way the story goes, he gave an address about being in love with Jesus, what it meant to be in a loving relationship with Jesus. Now, for us at Holy Family, this is a very um, common terminology, right? Father Bob often talks in a homily about what it is to be in relationship with Jesus. But in the 70s, this would not be common terminology for Catholics. We didn't necessarily speak this way. So this address that Father Arupe gave really captivated the audience from the way the story is told. And um, he spoke very uh, poetically and well about the topic. But at the end, somebody in the audience spoke up and said, in front of the large crowd and said, you know, something to the effect of, well, that's all well and good, Father, but I need something a little bit more practical. And without skipping a beat, Father Arupe responded and ended his address on what it meant to be in love with Jesus with the following words. Nothing is more practical for finding God than falling in love in quite an absolute and final way. What you are in love with, what seizes your imagination, will affect everything. It will decide what will get you out of bed in the morning, what you do with your evenings, how you spend your weekends, what you read, whom you know, what breaks your heart, what amazes you with joy and gratitude. Fall in love, stay in love, and it will decide everything. That was his response to the practicality of what it means to be in love with Jesus. Now, I spoke, I had a video message at the beginning of the summer where I shared that I often do almost like a review of my year in the summer and look towards the fall for a time that I would set new goals or um, sort of New Year's resolutions kind of. Um, and I have recently been praying with these words. I happen to have a plaque of this quote on the wall in my house. And I've been, it's been causing me to ask the question, what gets me out of bed in the morning? Does my life reflect a life of someone who's in love with Jesus? I don't know. It's a question to ask, right? What do I read? Whom do I know? If, if this address was delivered in 2023, we might add something in about, you know, what do we pay attention to? What's in our social media? You know, what kind of input do we put in? And then what does it mean to be a follower that's in love with Jesus? What gets you out of bed in the morning? What seizes you, your imagination? What amazes you with joy and gratitude? Does our life reflect a personal encounter with Jesus? Because this does not describe a God who is distant. This describes a God who's in the messiness of our lives. That's in the good times and the bad times. And when we're at the best version of ourselves and the worst version of ourselves. But calling us back to, if we're in love with Jesus, does our life reflect it? I'm reflecting on that now myself. What do you think? What gets you out of bed in the morning? I've linked the... the quote below so that you can read it as well and reflect on it for yourself. But if you'd like to share, we'd always love to hear. And it's so good to see you and I hope to see you again very soon.